Okay. So we're going to consider scaling triangle A, B, C. The best. And and I is the in center. So I'm not thinking anymore because I'm like not typing. <laughs> Uh, and then, oh jeez, okay, uh, zoom out, zoom out. <laughs> so IA is 2 times triangle center, A, B, C, O, B, I, C, 3, minus I, uh, W equals circle A, B, C. The X circle is circle I, A through... I don't understand how there's not a foot command built in. Like, that feels like the one command that I really just should be there. I mean, it's not that much longer. Eh, I don't like it. There should just be a foot command. Uh, and I used to, when I was in high school, have my GeoGebra set up so that it registered there, but for some reason... I... I never got it to work back on here. Alright, so X and Y. They're called Uni for now, we'll rename them. That's okay. Yeah, Olympiad package. Here's the funny thing. I don't use the Olympiad package anymore. I use the built-in geometry package, which is not non-standard. Like, if you use Olympiad.sc, you can only use that on places where you either control the server or the person does math contests. But geometry.sc can actually just do everything that olympiad.sc can do. It does it better and it's built into asymptote. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, like apparently, yeah, yeah, there's just a package in base asymptote that does what olympiad does but better. Uh, send geometry.sc, if you have asymptote installed you should already have it. Like just import geometry and read the manual. Um. Yeah, so I was very surprised to learn this. I think what happened was probably historically we didn't know it existed, so we wrote our own. And then one day someone realized that, hey, wait, this was built in already. <laughs> I was like, well. <laughs> well. Yeah. All right, so choose MN such that our tangent to X, Y intersect BC at Z. Okay. Yeah, it just, yeah, it, it just does everything that... Uh, Maybe not literally everything, but because it's built in, like... Wait, so M is like just this point, right? So like N is reflect M line I A Z and line you want them collinear so you want isn't this just the usa tst problem yeah so 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 what happens is um no th this, this was the problem that danielle showed me and that turned into a usa tst problem um i i claim that i is on the semedian and like Yeah, I, I think this is just the USA TST problem. I, I think I've seen literally seen it. It, it. But I'll write out the proof anyways, um, which is that I'm going to consider like the circle. Um, yeah, no, she just found this in GeoGebra and showed it to me, and I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And so, um, yeah. Basically, Z is the concurrence of all these radical axi, and therefore um, something happens. I forget what. But, oh yeah, this circle is that diameter. Uh, if you want another equivalent formulation, uh, shortlist 2017 G4 has the same configuration. Um, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I, I just, I've just done the same problem. Yeah, the story was that, um, so Danielle, when she, when she came up with this, she was like, oh, you know, I noticed that um, I lies on this m semedian of triangle mxy and i was like oh that's cute um 
fine. And then so I projected it onto the A altitude and I was like, okay, you know, we get a statement with a rhombus. And then I was like, what can we call the rhombus? And at that point, this point was called D in the problem. This point was called E. So I needed like E star, A star for some stars. And then Danielle's like, you can put your name in it. I'm like, are you serious? And she was like, I won't let you submit the problem to TST unless you put your name in it. So that's how I ended up being a rhombus. Um, yeah. Fun fact. <laughs> Yes, so if you've done the 2017 G4, uh, you'll have a pretty good shot at the 2017 5, because they're like about the same picture. <laughs> yeah, anyways, th this quadrilateral is harmonic, and then I, yeah. I, I is tangent here, so yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, l let me not be sloppy and actually write out the solution for people who haven't seen it yet. Um, we're going to let this guy be P and Q or something. Yeah, sorry, Chenis. Um Yeah, so by radical axi, like, uh, lines PQ, lines XY are all concurrent. However, if I now define, like, so IP and IQ are tangent because of the right angles. So wherever IM meets again, uh, M and P, like if I let if I redefine N to be the point such that this is there, um, then M, P, Q, N are harmonic. So these tangents all concur at Z. That's the proof. Canonical solution is a lot higher. Yeah, I, I think that's about the same thing, right? Like the 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 higher says that the polar of I is the line PQ, and this is the same line I've drawn. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, uh, congratulations on reinventing a TST five. <laughs> this was our TST five. Uh, all right. 